Hi, welcome again. Today I'll show you how to configure SMB multi channel from a Windows 2016 virtual machine as the SMB client, and QNAP NAS will be our SMB3 server. SMB multi channel on Linux Samba system is not production ready yet, but I have seen uh, so many people using this feature uh, for a long time without any issue. So that's why I have planned to use SMB3 share as my Veeam backup repository to get the full throughput during backup from the storage. So let's implement QNAP SMB3 with VMware and from Veeam accessing the SMB3 share as backup repo. So let's start configuring uh, QNAP first. Before configuration, I want to show you my LAN interfaces of QNAP system. Here I have management IP 192.168.75.100 and the two, these are 10 gig SAP plus interfaces and these both interface will carry our SMB3 traffic. Okay, so let's go to the general setting on the network and file service. Here you can see that uh, I have unchecked all these uh, network interfaces. I want the Microsoft networking or SMB3 to listen on Ethernet 5 and Ethernet 6, only the two 10 gig interfaces, so that my uh, Veeam backup and replication only can connect 10 gig interfaces. So let's click apply. Now let's go to the sharing section. Microsoft Networking, enable file service for Microsoft Networking. This is our server name, QNAP1. Let's go to advanced option. And here at highest SMB version, we have to select SMB3. Click apply. Now we need to create the SMB share. Create a shared folder, SMB share smb1 is the disk volume specify the path we don't need anything here let's create now our smb share is created now we need to log into qnip system from shell to enable the SMB multi-channel uh, configuration. So enable port 22, I have logged in already. VI to see config smb.conf Here we need to put only server multi-channel support equal to yes. Now restart the service. SMB2 status. Here our SMB service running and SMB max protocol SMB3 enabled. Okay, so we are done from the QNAP side. Now let's go to VMware. Here we have created our veeam.mailserverguru.com. Uh, so we need to configure this uh, virtual machine uh, so that it can communicate with the QNAP server uh, with multiple path. So let's configure the networking. We need virtual machine port group <coughs> for a standard switch. Create a new switch. And my active path will be VMNIC 4 and 5. These both are 10 gig interface. First is SMB P1 port group. and add another virtual machine port group. 
existing vSwitch1 SMB P2 so here we have created two virtual machine port group now let's add this virtual machine port group to the Veeam virtual machine let's click edit add network device network adapter another network adapter this one will be VMX net 3 and virtual machine port group will be SMB P1 this is first one and second one SMB P2 and the adapter type will be VMX net 3 so hit OK now from the switch if you see that we have virtual machine veeam mailservergroup.com added now we need to dedicate individual LAN card with the individual uh, port group so that uh, this veeam uh, virtual machine can communicate with the uh, QNF server with dedicated uh, interface so let's click edit teaming and failover for SMB path 1 we're using only SMB uh, VMNIC 4 and VMNIC 5 will be unused and for SMB path 2 we will use VMNIC 5 for this path and VMNIC 4 will be unused so if we click on the virtual machine then you can see that individual port group is mapped with a physical adapter so we are done configuring at the VMware site so let's start the virtual machine now we will configure SMB3 on the virtual machine side here I have opened the VMware remote console and if we see our LAN configuration here I have three LAN card this both are you can see that uh, VMX net 3 and this one is for uh, connecting with my management uh, network I have assigned 99.200 to Ethernet 0 and here if you see that my vCenter's IP is 99.190 and on Ethernet 1 I have assigned 70.5 so that it can directly connect to 70.30 QNAP first 10 gigabit interface and this one is 80.5 it will connect to 80.30 IP let's ping 70.30 okay and 80.30 so we can connect to QNAP from both IP we will connect to QNAP by using name not uh, by using the IP so we need to map IP to name at the etc host file let's open the host file and and put the line 70.30 and 80.30 to QNAP1 so now if we ping QNAP1 it can communicate with the first IP now we need to open the PowerShell now at the PowerShell we need to get net adapter this will list all the adapters here you can see that we have two 10 gigabit Ethernet and one 1 GB Ethernet so we will use uh, these two path for the SMB not the last one we will specifically define to use this both path for the SMB traffic let's see our LAN cards are RSS capable this is mandatory this receive side scaling feature is required for the multi-channel to work get SMB client configuration as we are using this server as a SMB client so from the client side SMB multi-channel should be enabled it is by default uh, enabled so here you can see enable multi-channel equal to true 
now get SMB client network interfaces. It will show which interfaces are participating with the SMB traffic. So it shows three LAN card. We will explicitly define these two for SMB traffic. We need to remove SMB version one from the system. So let's see if it is enabled. I've already disabled this one. So it says the available. If it is installed, then it will say installed. In that case, you have to put this command. Windows optional feature, online feature, SMB one protocol to remove this, or you can uh, also remove this from the remove roles and features. From here, you can see SMB1 CFS file sharing support. I have unchecked this one. After, uh, after deselecting this option, uh, the system uh, may reboot. So after reboot, it will remove completely. Uh, sometimes when we uh, put this command SMB client network interface, we see here some I set up uh, hidden interfaces. So with this command, we can remove those I set up interfaces. Here, if we put this command again, Now we will dedicate these two interface for SMB traffic. We have to create a SMB constraint, new SMB multi-channel constraint. This means we are defining an SMB constraint uh, to connect to server QNAP1 use uh, interface ETH1. And again, we will dedicate ETS2 also. ETS. Now it shows the both constraint to connect to server name QNAP1. It will use the interface ETHO1 and ETHO2. Now, if we put get SMB connection, we should not get any. SMB multi-channel connection. We are not getting any output right now, but we will get if we try to access the QNAP1 share. Let's click. Here the share opened. Now from the task manager. Let's open. Let's give a file transfer. If the SMB3 configuration is OK from QNAP side and from the uh, Windows server side, then during a file transfer, we will see uh, this both interface will take part with the data transfer. Let's upload a ISO file to this SMB share. Now here, this is my local C drive and this is the SMB share. Now I will give a copy from the share to the local system. Let's see the traffic. Here you can see now if we give this command get SMB multi-channel here you can see the server name and selected and these are the client IP and this is the server IP. So both IP are participating with the uh, SMB traffic. And this is the SMB connection, SMB connection to SMB share from the server name QNAP1. This both interface is participating with the data transfer. We have successfully configured the SMB3 multi-channel from Windows 2016.
and QNAP server. So our this part is okay. Now let's configure Veeam backup and replication to use multi-channel feature during backup. Now let's uh, configure our Veeam backup. Backup infrastructure, backup repository, add backup repository, network at our storage, CIFS share, we can name it QNAP, send Veeam, share folder, QNAP1, SMB share, this share requires access credential, QNAP admin, gateway server automatic selection okay limit maximum concurrent task 4 these are the default setting we click apply so it will add our QNAP share directory as the backup repository backup repository has been added successfully click finish now let's go to inventory vcsa Let's back up our Ubuntu server. Backup repository QNAP SMB. Next. Next apply finish so we have created a backup job now let's open the task manager and in the behind we have opened the QNAP resource monitor to see the data transfer from adapter 5 and 6 these are our 10 gig interfaces so Click Active Full Backup. We can double click to open the window separately. So now here our backup starts. Here we can see that already it shows traffic from Ethernet 1 and 2 and it's start processing processing rate 339 megabyte per second and both interfaces showing the traffic so this is the test already it sent 940 megabytes Mbps already transferred 18.9 gig and our both interface used to transfer the data so we have done our testing so our Veeam backup and replication using the both interfaces to transfer the data to backup repository so thank you for being with me I'll see you on the next video bye